What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this funky looking swimming pool in Revit but it won't be just any funky looking swimming pool it will also have some colored lights in the walls of the swimming pool so the water will light up with these colored lights and it will look really cool in some night renderings but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day Day. and follow me on social media I post there as well and if you want to download this uh, whole uh, swimming pool project file as well as the lighting family that I'm going to be creating check out my patreon first link in the description but anyway let's get started so I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and as always I like to set the units first so just type in UN and set the units to well I'm going to set it to meters you choose whatever you prefer working in so I'm just going to be using the wall command for this so you can use the shortcut WA for wall and then I'm going to be using the arc tool so just go like this kind of create a simple arc maybe kind of like that go like this following the wall or following the the arc perhaps to say better maybe I can continue this arc kind of or yeah let's go like this then continue on from this point maybe kind of like that and then continue it perhaps with this and then let's just fill it arc to create this arc over here so we've got some just a oval kind of shaped uh, organic let's say shaped swimming pool over here now uh, we need to add some floors so first let's add the top floor and for that just go to the floor command so just start it over here let's just create a rectangle around this and then go with a pick line tool and pick the inner lines of the of this wall so just go all the way around picking the inner lines and just hit, hit finish and once you've done that let's go into 3d and as you can see this kind of looks weird because our swimming pool is on the wrong side of the floor so you just hover over one of these walls you hit the tab button uh, just uh, just tap it and then you can select the whole thing and then for the base constraint I'm going to give it a base offset of minus two meters and for the top constraint I'm just going to uh, place it at level one so do it like that and now again I can select the whole thing again just hover over one of the walls tap the tab key and do that select the whole thing and just go attach top base and attach it to this so the walls will kind of finish uh, over here uh, below the the actual surface of the floor but anyway let's go back into level one and uh, uh, to see the wall now you need to go first here and set this to uh, wireframe and then you need to go into view range so just type in VR and set it to unlimited on both the bottom and the view depth and just hit apply okay and now you can see it again so we need to create another floor so just go here to floor and for the level let's go with level one but again give it a height offset of minus two meters so the same thing with it with the wall do the same thing with this floor and then just go pick lines and now we're just going to be selecting the outer uh, line of this wall so just go like that all the way around and just hit finish and then nope and just hit no there go into 3d and as you can see now this is a completed swimming pool now uh, before we add the water I would just like to add the lights so let's start off with that so uh, for the lights we need to create a new family so I'm just going to be going over here in file new family and I'm just going to drop back one folder in order to pick the uh, the metric units just what I prefer to use and let me just scroll down and find a lighting let's see so I need a metric lighting fixture wall based because we're going to be attaching it to the wall of this swimming pool so you just go to that wall based here it is open it up now if you select this wall it's this 150 millimeter wall but the one that's on my project it's 200 millimeters so I'm just going to change it to generic 200 millimeters you need to have the same thickness of wall over here uh, in the in the light family as you do in the project so those two need to kind of be the same one 
And then for this distance, let's just change it to this. You just hit the tab key again, and let's change this to maybe 30 millimeters. Just bring it in just a bit. And uh, now let's change the color of the light first. That's the important part, the cool part. So you just go here to family types, you open up the dialog, and here for color filter, let's go with some ooh, fancy green. Let's go with that, <laughs> hit OK. And then for the uh, light intensity, let's change this to like, I don't know, 10,000, just to make it bright enough to be visible underwater. And yeah, that's enough for these family types dialog changes. So just hit apply, okay. And now let's create the actual light family. So I like to go to the placement side and go, go over here and create a void form and just go with void extrusion and just do like this circle. And let's give it a, I don't know, like 30 millimeter circle, hit finish. You go to the left side or right side and you just attach it maybe to the middle of the wall maybe here, so it's kind of cutting through the wall, and you just go here to cut geometry, and you select the wall, you select the void, and now as you can see it's cutting through the wall, and if we go into 3D, it should be visible here, yeah, as you can see now it's cutting through the wall. So go back into perhaps left uh, or right uh, elevation, and now let's create the actual light housing. So I'd like to go to create and use revolve for this, Part. So I just go with axis line and pick an axis line like that. Then I like to go with boundary line and just do a boundary line going like this, 30 millimeters, go there. Maybe outside for like 15, maybe something like that. Come in a bit and then switch to arc. Go at 45 degrees. Is it at four? Okay, now it's at 45. And you finish it off like this. So it's kind of a quarter circle. And when we hit finish, it will look like this. And let me immediately change the material. So I'm just going to go here to material and let's go. Let's let's put some aluminum. Aluminum. Okay, let's go with this one and hit apply. Okay. And and now for uh, to have it appear as it, the light is turned on, you need to go here to uh, placement side and create another extrusion. So you just go create extrusion and this will be kind of the glass diffuser for the light and you just hit finish and go back into left elevation and you just set it up like this so this is that uh, little glass diffuser or whatever you call it and let's change the material so uh, i i know you're probably thinking about placing it at glass but no there's even a, a better option so you just scroll down and you find uh where is it the glass and you again uh, let me just extend this a bit scroll down and you find glass white high luminance and you just load that one in and hit apply and okay so this is a cool one to have so just uh, keep it at high luminance so when we hit, we'll go into 3d and we go perhaps into realistic as you can see this uh, white light it will always shine like it's turned on so that's what you want to have so it will look uh, a bit more realistic now let's just load that into the project go into 3d and let's just start placing it so okay delete instance okay doesn't want to place it at this wall for some reason nope okay let's just go and place it on other walls so just go all the way around okay for some reason i think it doesn't want to place it on the filleted filleted walls I don't know why is that, but let's just go place it like this. Okay, I think this looks good enough. So we've got our little green light and let's just add the water to complete the whole uh, swimming pool effect. So let me just go into level one and use the component uh, model in place option. And here you can just choose a, a generic component. Let's see. Okay, generic model. That's fine. And now just go with extrusion and you can just use the pick lines tool and again just pick the inner lines of the whole swimming pool. Of course water is on the inside and you just hit finish, go into south elevation perhaps and then you just extend this all the way down. And I like to extend it uh, up over here to this line and now if we go into 3D this is what it looks like and you just select the whole thing and you change the material to water. So you just type in uh, water 
prefer okay here it is i i prefer using this one you also have this water i just think this one is way better so just load it in hit apply okay and you're finished and just one thing uh to change the the material or the appearance of the material for the floor and the generic walls uh, you can use it you can do it quite easily because uh, if I go here into edit type for the floor edit and as you can see it has no material selected so it chooses the default material so if I just type in a default and find the default material go into appearance and change just the color to white and hit apply it will automatically change uh, both the both the appearance in rendering of the uh, of this floor as well as the walls. So let's just create a rendering now to see what we have created. So let's go to level two and create a camera. Then we can that we can kind of tilt downward a bit. Let's see, kind of like that. Maybe not so much. Okay, like this. Go maybe into level one, extend it a bit. Let's see if we open up 3D view one. Okay, this looks decent enough. Let's see what this would look like if or when rendered. And uh, let's set just go RR for rendering and let's set this to high. Let's go with printer just to give it a little something better to make it look a bit nicer or you have higher quality of the image. And for the sun settings, I'm just going to change it to still. And yeah, let's leave this at 7 p.m. Hit apply. OK. And for this, let's choose a uh, Let's choose exterior sun and artificial. So we're going to have some a bit of sunlight, but also uh, a bit of a artificial light or the green light inside. And let's just hit render now. And this is what we get. As you can see, it looks quite awesome with this green lighting in dark. It looks really cool, actually. Okay, so that's pretty much it, how you create this funky looking swimming pool with green lights. And of course, you can change the color of lights. You can make it blue, red, pink, whatever you choose. But anyway, if you want to download this whole project file as well as the light family, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.